Hello students, I will explain you um, in this online session, I will explain you how to do this task. Um, right, uh, let's start from the instruction. This is the instruction, whatever is given in the box, they are the instructions for you to apply. Let's read instruction by instruction. Add a header with your name and venue. So just double click there, or uh, double click on top of the file, uh, top of the document, it opens up a header. Uh, your name, please write your name, not my name. And venue is um, the place where you're working from. So Forest Gate Learning, you all belong to Forest Gate Learning Zone. So I'm going to write Forest Gate Learning Zone. Now, uh, this is uh, gray in color, it's not activated. So all you have to do is just double click there. That's it, double click on the mouse. Next part is use word art to create a suitable title for your document use word art to create a suitable title for your document word art uh, i did explain while i was doing online session with you all but i'll explain it now again use word art to get word art because it's something new that we are using in the document we will click on insert and then word art word art you sometimes in this section students you will also see the word uh, see the word word art but in my case, I'm seeing uh, uh, I'm seeing letter A. If I just place the mouse on it for two seconds, it shows me it is word art. So I'll click on that and I can choose uh, whichever format I like. For example, for example, I will select this. And um, here you can change the font style if you like a different font style, or you want to, you can change the font size, bold, italic, all those things. You can do it again. Now you need to give a document. Uh, you need to give uh, this document a heading. Uh, I'm going to give it as ladder safety tips. You don't have to follow me. You can give uh, uh, some suggested painting, some suggested DIY tips. So it's up to you guys. Whatever you think suitable for your particular document, you can give the heading to that document. So I can just increase the size and all those things. And also I can do some here. If I click on that, if you're not happy with this, uh, uh, uh with this style of writing you can go back and do changes as well you see this if you cl now i click on that and i can change it to different style if you prefer so uh there you go if you want to shape outline from there you can choose a different shape outline from there it just changes the outline for me and also some shadow effects in the shadow effects you want to give it if you want to change the shape so students i always say that try try yourself so you're not going to break the computer or anything or if you do something wrong you can undo option and you can come back to it so try uh, all these different ways of doing it uh, that's my word art uh, ins if you're going to insert and then you select the option of word art from there and then you can choose whichever format of writing um and then um uh, it, uh, and then let's go on to my next instruction justify your text choose a suitable font size style and color uh justify i'm just going to highlight it uh justify is uh, it's a type of alignment so it's under home when we were doing left right we have done it now left center right justify i'll click on justify and also suitable font size font style and color uh, if you want to have any other font size, uh, any other font uh, font size, any other font style, and any other font color, if you prefer, you can select it. Up to you, students. I'm not saying this or that. You choose whatever you like it. And here is a choose for uh, this part also. Uh, choose font size, style, and color. Uh, any other font size, any other font style you want it, you select it different font size different font style um your choice to this i'm not I, once again i'm not going to say this or that now change your bullet points from dots to arrows this is here bullet points these are bullet points click on that and select it to arrow now i don't want the bullet point for the heading so i'm just going to click on that and take the bullet point off for that i can make that bold underline up to you your creativity your and uh, I also wanted to insert two different pictures which we have done many times before in the session next after that uh, after that after that was the next part of it uh, ensure you proofread let me just uh, minimize it because I'm not seeing I'm not going to the next part of it ensure you proofread 
proofread your work and do the spelling corrections because this part is cut but that's what it says ensure that you proofread your finished work uh, to finish work and do any spelling and grammar mistake how do uh, how do i do my spelling correction students i go into my review uh, yes if uh, in my case uh, i click on editor and then i can select it but in your case you will see spelling and grammar uh, if I click on editor and uh, and just say yes to that now here total suggestion 12 spelling suggestions if I just double click on that it's giving me forest gate yeah no problem uh, right I'm just going to ignore this part because I don't want that and uh, and then also total suggestion okay then when I click on the remember remember and then you do not but i don't i won't have that you don't so i'm just going to ignore that professional i selected business this is what i want ladder l-a-d-d-e-r and ladder again l-a-d-d-e-r 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 ladder ladder okay and that's not i'm just going to ignore that part so you have finished reviewing editor and suggestions so once you are done with this work, once you do your proofread and everything, uh, send it to me as an attachment to my email. That's all for this task. Okay, take care then. Bye-bye.